Welcome back to Mount Olympus, where the rise of Icarus certainly is rising. Honestly, I'd say that it's about the same height as the uh, indoor water park at this point. Might uh, be useful in helping to judge how tall it is currently. See right there the uh, foundations for the slide runouts. A lot more concrete work going on over here. I'm guessing these are all for somewhat of retaining walls. Over here, this retaining wall was added. So it was in. It looks like they're uh, extending it along here. It's a tall tower. Is that the kitty slides are looking? Not too much in terms of vertical construction other than concrete. It's like some groundwork going on back here. I think for more cabanas. Here's what more of that concrete work looks like. You can see they have a lot of stair sections over there ready to go in. Here's a look at the new retaining wall that went in for the kitty slide pod. Hey guys, just wanted to show something real fast. This is Daredevil Peak on the left. Um, this is at Perfect Day at Coco Cay in the Bahamas. It is the current tallest water slide in North America. The Rise of Icarus is a near clone. So you can see that this level right here is just about in line right here. So this is where the shorter speed slides will come out of the tower. And it's also where the shorter speed slides come out of the tower on Daredevil Peak. It's very interesting to see how close, but how not the same that these are. Here's a good comparison of the two different slide towers. This body slide and this body slide are nearly, if not exactly the same. This speed slide and this speed slide are nearly, if not exactly, the same. This very tall slide and this very tall slide are very similar. However, Rise of Icarus actually continues around the tower just a little bit more instead of stopping right here, making it 10 feet taller. 
And then these front face slides here, the yellow one, and this multicolored one at Daredevil Peak, and then these two darker teal ones are completely unique to each side.